Hello, uh, my name is Mark Boyer and this is a, a short informative video on uh, my newly published two-page pamphlet called Information on Warehouse Receipts. Okay, it's a very short informative pa pamphlet that needs to be spread because uh, it really does hold the key uh, to uh, uh, the changing of everything. Uh, the Grand Awakening, and uh, that's done through the redemption of all debt. And that's what warehouses created, uh, a real cash cow out there, and it needs some explaining, okay? Back in 1947, in Canada, after World War II, we had a guy called Mackenzie King as Prime Minister, and he was definitely a high-ranking Mason, and from my understanding, he had the best of intentions when he passed the 1947 Warehouse Receipts Act. Now, in it, back in the 50s, I was born in 51, okay? Back then, it was well understood that we were all million-dollar babies, okay? Somehow, they created a million dollars out of thin air for us, and we were million dollar babies. This was highly understood. This is what made the money go round. Now, the reality is, is it wasn't one million dollars given to the government. It was a warehouse receipt. Your, your mother signed off on your statement of birth. If you ever get your original statement of birth or the copy of the original one, there's a whole dispute about that. But the copy, your copy, original copy of the birth statement is your mother's handwriting. Okay. Three quarters of the, of the document is dotted lines. And you're not supposed to sign on the dotted line. And that's the document they've signed. Okay. This statement of birth allowed authority. They gave it to uh, the, the, uh, the province or the king. In my case, I was born under King George VI. And the king, uh, used it as collateral for the further advancement of money under what's called warehouse receipts. Okay. In, when I was a baby, we were all worth a million dollars each, and we were called million-dollar babies. Uh, apparently today, uh, through research from uh, others, uh, babies today are worth eight and a half million dollars. And that's actually a reflection of how much total output that you will put out in a lifetime. Warehouse receipts were a way of funding the government for your total output in a lifetime. Okay? Now, that created a lot of instant cash that built highways and built bridges and built hospitals and built uh, institutional buildings, built the post office, built their trucks, built, built everything. Okay? And it caused the biggest economic boom, period. Okay? And it did exactly what it was supposed to do. Now, all of these projects, every dime lent out on your warehouse receipt was done in a uh, form of a line of credit, uh, in, in the form of a mortgage or bonds that were backed by real ways to pay back the bond or mortgage. Okay, and once these infrastructures were in place, they paid for themselves. Okay, they actually paid for themselves. And it's like uh, toll bridges. Uh, Tolls on bridges come down after the bridge is paid for. Tolls on all of these things come down, uh, on highways come down after they're paid for. Or the bond was issued on taxes uh, that we promised to pay for this road across a 20-year bond. Uh, the person who wrote the bond uh, made interest on it, and he backed the bond by collecting a pool of warehouse receipts to back the loan. That's how where the warehouse receipts come in. Okay, now the 20 million Canadians at the time in 1947, plus the 20 million babies or so born up till 1960, say, okay, every one of these people had at least two kids. It was a baby boom. I came from a family of seven. Okay, that was quite common back then. Now, so the, those 40 million people all had a credit note of one million dollars or they were used as collateral to back a loan. Uh, all of these loans, uh, let me say, it. 
in default countries, what happened is there was so much graft happening that uh, there was not enough real assets to uh, run the thing, and the banks pulled the plug on them. But here in North America, Canada, the United States, all of Europe, these loans were paid, okay, and they were written for all kinds of things that were, you know, the, the greater good was served by warehouse receipts. And every one of these loans was paid back. Some, okay, easily paid back. It's for 60 years now, okay. I'm 60 years old, and that means three 20-year mortgages were used with my money or money created by we being backers of the money. That money, uh, okay, is 20 million people at, before, 20 million born, is 40 million people, all worth about a million dollars each of collateral. Now, that collateral has been used three times because it's 60 years later, say three 20-year mortgages of one million dollars. It was done in your name on this warehouse receipt. Now, that means there's three million dollars somewhere in a bank account for your warehouse receipt. That's been collected because it's been used. Okay? Now, the bank is entitled, whoever wrote the bond, is entitled to 100% of all that interest. Okay? On the bond. But all these institutions that paid back the bond and paid back the mortgage paid back the principal as well as the interest and that principal is in a bank account okay now collectively in the last 60 years just the people born in the 50s have about a hundred and twenty trillion dollars worth of money in a bank account that technically cannot be used until we collectively find something to use it for okay you know it, 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 wrap your head around it there's so much money you know in canada there's a, a bank a collective pool bank account worth 120 trillion dollars at least okay of fully paid for mortgage you know mortgages and bonds the principle of sitting there they can't use it for anything else that's the law and why would they want to? It's a bank account. Now, in terms of the United States, there's 10 times the population held under the same warehouse receipt program. That's half a quadrillion dollars. Europe, there's an, because of the population, 10 times more than Canada, another half a quadrillion dollars. There's well, several quadrillion dollars worth of money that's in these bank accounts in every separate country. That's sitting there waiting to be used in some kind of magnanimous act. Okay? Now, technically, if every one of us got this one to three million dollars each, uh, a loaf of bread would be four, five hundred dollars overnight. It wouldn't work. Okay? That's not the intent of why warehouse receipts were created. I'm saying that all of that money that's sitting there is actually crippling the economy. And it's done it in the last 10, 15 years because when these payments were first started to be made, most of the payment was interest and some principal. And at the end of these loans, it's almost all principal and hardly any payment. And that money has been draining out of the account, going into a pit that literally changes the whole picture, okay? And it really points out why warehouse receipts in the long run work, okay? Collectively, there's over a quadrillion, well, well over a quadrillion dollars in these accounts across the world, period. In Canada, there's a hundred, let's stick to Canada. In Canada, there's a hundred and twenty trillion dollars or so in this account. Okay, now we can take that money. We, the last generation, that's just, you know, that's just those who are under, uh, reti reaching retirement age right now. People my age, okay? Now, just in our pool, there's $130, 20000000000000 trillion in that range. And 
we can turn around under the Warehouse Receipts Act as a charitable act and use it to pay off all the debt in Canada. Okay, and it's actually one of the few things we can do with this because under the Warehouse Receipts Act, you became cargo on a ship. Okay, while your assets, your you were you know your your you were your collateral was being made money. We're still on the ship. Okay, collectively, we on the ship have enough money to buy ourselves off of the ship. And the only way we can buy ourselves off of the ship is by uh, paying off all the debt in Canada because this is Canada's thing. And there's no way they can come up with the fact that there's $120 trillion in every debt possible in Canada. Now, in the United States, there's $500 trillion there or half a quadrillion dollars. And there they spent so much on bombs and more bombs and better chariots. They might have spent it there. But in Europe, you know, they weren't mongers, warmongers, as bad as the Americans were. So they got to have a lot of money in Europe too, okay? It, it, really, okay? This is real money that has to be spent on something real. And there's nothing better anyone could do than pay all debt in the world. And all it takes is people to unite under what Archibald Cox called uh, consent of the governed. It really is the most powerful force devised by man to affect the makeover without the use of military or economic force. And that is his quote. And the reality is, is he's probably one of the architects of warehouse receipts, okay? Or his dad was. Uh, the guy with genuine blue blood. And he really outlines that, you know, hey guys, uh, just stick around. Now, and reality is, is the total worth of our warehouse receipts are actually only starting to reach the total debt. And it took a generation or a generation and a half to do that, okay? So it's about time people wake up and realize that we can take this money and all we need is a good lawyer, okay? There's got to be a good lawyer out there who wants to pursue the class action suit of collecting warehouse receipt money because the worst that can happen is the bank says no. Okay, or they write it off as a frivolous and vexatious uh, suit. But at least we get an answer to, was it all done for love or hate? And that's an Ecclesiastes 8 thing. Okay, uh, Solomon. Was it all done for love or hate? Only time will tell. Okay, well, you know what? The bars had a run of it for 3,000 years since then. And it's all been done for hate. But you know what? Nothing would change the world more overnight than just the whisper of the idea that all debt in the world could be paid uh, with this uh, white elephant account that's created. Okay, This white elephant account right now, because all these bonds are, the principles coming in, are draining the world's real cash. And, uh, you know, take it. Use this money and uh, pay off all debt in the world because that balancing point of where we can do it has been reached. And uh, nothing would change uh, everything more than paying off the world debt. I mean, literally, every credit card, every mortgage, every city, every county, every hospital, every institution loan, every, every car loan, every credit card, everybody's loans would be paid by the a magnanimous act of your parents. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And all we have to do is ask. And the worst they can do is say no. And uh, it fulfills so many prophecies, you know, the, the triggering of good first fruit, uh, that it's worth a try. You know, what can I say? Uh, sweet dreams are made of these. Uh,
pick it up. Go get a copy of Information on Warehouse Receipts. Read it. Print it. Uh, I understand that some people aren't getting nice, clean, printed copies like this. Uh, it's a PDF file. I don't know why they're not able to. I get them. Other people do. Some people don't. Uh, reprint it. Hand it out. Uh, this message needs to be gotten out because it's a message that contains hope. And hope is uh, exactly what warehouse receipts were founded on. And uh, why not? You know, you're coming up to people and saying, hey, uh, I, I, I want to do this charitable act of paying off all debt in the world with a bank account that's bankrupting the world right now. Okay? That's the reality. And there's enough money in that create that accumulated bank account to redeem all debt in the world and lots of money left over. I mean, lots of money left over. The rich will be incredibly rich and we'll have no debt. Okay? <laughs> but, you know, it's a recipe to fulfill Isaiah 40. And that's comfort to all God's children. Okay? And there's a promise there that the Jews who have borne the burden of bad guys because they uphold debt will be lifted of this burden. And to them, that's paradise. Okay? And they have all the money in the world. They can be the most magnanimous guys in the world. And biblically, it says that's exactly what will happen. Okay? It will cause good first fruit. Uh, the roots will be good and everything will be good. Okay? The path we're going down is self-destruction. And uh, basically, it's take a chance on love. And uh, what can I say? Uh, sweet dreams are made of these. Thank you.